Jazz is freedom, jazz is equality, jazz is human, jazz is raw. Everyone who plays has their own identity. I just love the fact that in this music, having a unique voice is always so welcomed. I'm Birsa Chatterjee, I'm 20 years old, and I'm a jazz musician. Bruce is probably one of, oh, let me start that over, because it's not probably. <laughs> Bruce is definitely one of the world's leading saxophonists, and to be able to study with someone like that means the world to me. I grew up with a single mom, and having someone like Bruce, a father figure in my life, is something that I'm grateful every day to have. Hi, I'm Bruce Williams. I'm a jazz musician and a mentor. I really believe mentoring young people is key to the survival of any art form. I first met Bruce at Jazz House Kids, which was founded by jazz vocalist Melissa Walker. Melissa's husband is world-renowned bassist Christian McBride, who has a mentor of his own, Mr. Lovett Hines. Remember, we have to do what? Pop the F key. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Performing in front of a crowd, still to this day, I, I get this level of nervousness, and I think that's because it's so unpredictable. Dizzy's is a very unique room. I think nerves, that's a good thing. Jazz is a great American art form. So on stage, you're a representative of that. Well, I think when people think of jazz, they automatically think of sophistication. Whenever Bruce walks into a room, he's always super well put together and just commands respect. Well, the suit is classic. If you look good, you feel like you sound good being dressed in something that you feel comfortable in and that you feel great in is super important. You do represent the American fabric of the music. Playing at such a historic venue is definitely a huge deal for me. Just knowing that on the very same stage that I'm playing, some of my biggest idols have played, I never take it for granted. Whenever I'm at Dizzy's, it's just a very surreal experience. Jazz is freedom, jazz is equality. Jazz is one of the first outlets that really broke the color barrier and just allowed people to get on one bandstand and make beautiful art together. I think that's really what makes me so passionate about it. I'm very proud of him. He's become like a, a real young man, you know, someone I trust. I treat him like a son. From the bottom of my heart, I really love him. I owe so much to Bruce and just know that I'm super grateful to everything you've done and all the time you've given me.